Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and I have G.I. Joe Bird. So, uh, guys, in the United States, you made it. Yeah. Um, well, tell us, first of all, about your trip, about getting here. T tell us how that went. Steve won't do it this time. <laughs> Steve O'Rourke can do it this time. I've done it a lot. <laughs> He's told the story, so now it's your, your turn to tell us. <laughs> Well, what can be said about a 15-hour flight, other than I'm glad it wasn't a 15-hour flight followed by another 8-hour flight. We got a direct flight from Johannesburg to New York. Uh, what a deal. Um, so that was, that was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I've never flown direct before. I've always been by Dubai or Qatar or you know, Doha, that one. Hey, Rob, uh, should we show everybody how we slept in the plane? Yeah, by all means. Give happened. a demonstration. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, you didn't have a neck pillow. Against. Yeah, I didn't. Everyone else had a neck. So, uh, how long was the flight again? 15, 15 uh, hours, 45 minutes. <laughs> that, that's long enough. Yeah. yeah. But, but uh, you guys uh, took a bit of a road trip uh, once you got to the States, right? Yeah. It seemed like the most prudent way of seeing the maximum amount of the US in the, the allotted time. <laughs> um, and also, it, it worked out cheaper than domestic flights for the three of us. So we got in one car, threw our bags in, and just Burned it. Uh, we actually managed to make a stop off at Kokomo Toys in Indiana. Uh, that's yeah. why I have this awesome T-shirt from Kokomo Toys. Amber yeah. is a legend, um, and their inventory is legendary. If I hadn't been coming to JoeCon, I would have left that store a much poorer man. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it took us to the the, the west, and then we ducked uh, ducked down towards. Uh, towards Chattanooga, managed to stop off at a friend's place on the way, uh, who very, very kindly gave us a meal, showed us his, his, his hospitality, and then showed us his toy room, <laughs> where he hooked us up with a lot of goodies. I mean, the generosity that we've been shown on this trip is unparalleled. Um, so uh, you made it to uh, the last joke con. Um, how was your experience here? <laughs> it was mind blowing. I mean, like, it's just amazing. I've, I've, we have a local comic con in Cape Town, but I mean, you know, it focuses on a bunch of different things. But here you enter the room, and it's just GI yeah, Joe stuff. You just, you just, it's, it's too much. <laughs> it's like that dream that we've all had, where it's 1985 again, and you know, you've got wall to wall GI Joe toys uh, stacked to the ceiling, and like four or five rows deep. Okay, maybe not as opulent as that, but like everything that I could ever have wanted and more was here. Under one roof. Yeah. yeah. In fact, it was kind of bewildering to just set your priorities straight or reset your priorities because, you know, we've all made little lists and to try and meticulously go through a wants list of parts or vehicles, <laughs> impossible. So you aim for some heavy hitters and uh, you might just get lucky. I am overjoyed this was always the top of every list that i've written out for the last 15 years <laughs> now i have it and steven you said that uh, one of your goals was to go through uh, and see if you could find some uh just loose kind of beater figures uh, did, oh yes did you find any did you see any there today it's it's disgusting to to say this but they were mint and they were in a beater's bucket so if you look hard enough you can find treasure at a very affordable price point you know a minty original joe no rust not even elbow cracks for like two bucks if you just find it in the right spot okay accessories that's gonna start start hurting you but yeah brian i, I expected to find figures in far shoddier conditions than i did um yeah there was definitely treasure to be had yeah, I, I, and I should point out that in, in one uh, bargain bin, I found it not in terrible shape, mind you, but a Starduster. Just just there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It, wow. it was pretty bad shape, though. But, yeah, those uh, those uh, loose figure bins, uh, I thought you might enjoy going through those. So let's talk about um, uh, best experiences of the convention. Let's go down the row, I guess. Uh, actually, let's start let's out the, the other way. This time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Best experience uh, of the convention. Uh, meeting Larry Harmer is on the top of my list uh, for that. That was that was an incredible experience, uh, and and not just Larry Harmer, also Robert Ashton. Uh, that was that was that was magical. Uh, and, and I'm just, I mean, to be fair, I mean that's at the convention. Uh, best experience, 
being here, uh, like at the con actually at the convention, not the convention, was well, actually meeting all the cool people. Like this man over here, you can't see him, he's off camera. Mr. Bart Simon has, uh, has been a great uh, sidekick today uh, and uh, this whole weekend. I don't know if I want to call him sidekick, he's bigger than me. Um, finally getting to meet you was really cool. Uh, those kind of things are highlights. Oh, and maybe finishing Tiger Force. <laughs> oh, you finished Tiger Force? I finished oh, Tiger Force. Nicely done, nicely yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Now what are you going to do? Pursue Night Force. Okay. Wow. No, I, I don't know. Good Eco luck. Force. Let's go with Eco Warriors. <laughs> That's probably easier. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, be reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Robert, best, uh, um, for me, the best thing was realizing that how much people really enjoy what we do. Like you, you're so like removed from you know, everyone, like any GI Joe fan, just us, and how everyone just kind of how much they enjoy what we do, which is just incredible. Mm. I just find that amazing. It just blew me away. I was like, okay, cool. You you watch our videos, that's nice. You make comments, but like people recognize you, mm -hmm. come up to you, and like oh. Um, Children as well. It's, it's just that, that's what we yeah. My favorite no, it's so difficult to just people. like narrow it down because <coughs> it just it was just great experience after great experience after mm. great experience. I mean, Dan Shemansky, uh going out and getting drinks with some of the dudes. Yeah. Uh, I mean that didn't happen at the convention. Uh, <laughs> uh, illicit pallet, the parachute drops, which may or may not have happened. Uh, that was really cool. There's so much cool stuff that happened at this convention. I have to admit, I was enjoying vicariously every time someone would come up to you guys and recognize you guys. And <laughs> I wanted to make sure that uh, that this experience was, was worth the trip. And uh, every time somebody came up and uh, wanted to get their picture taken, I was like, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, Stephen, best experience of the convention. I fear I'm going to have to just uh, repeat what's already been said because if I'm honest with myself, uh, you know, toys are one thing, but the community that surrounds these toys is something altogether special. And we've been so isolated from that. You know, the, the internet friendships that we've accumulated are wonderful, but when you get to meet someone in the flesh, shake their hand, pull it in for a hug, in fact, and then go on to meet their kids who put down the iPad for like 10 minutes and watch uh, a bunch of grown men playing with action figures and are absolutely mesmerized by it. Yeah, it, it's, it was emotional. There was the youngest of four boys Aww. who would just climb up onto me. <laughs> this kid called Henry, uh, and he just would not let go. Maybe it's his thing. Maybe it's something <laughs> he does with strangers all the time just to wind mommy up. But uh, I, I, I was extremely touched by that. Yeah. Good kids. So, um, but uh, all right, then now let's let's bring it back to the plastic a little bit. Uh, mm, favorite, favorite please. Thing that you got? I think I think we know Stephen's favorite thing that he got. Come back here, yeah, sure. Know, I don't know if that's a commentary on the havoc that the <laughs> Mobat pushes. The Mobat's doing its own review of the havoc. I yes. Uh, I, I got a Mobat to pull a Rolling Thunder. Really? Yeah, that can be done. And so, okay, I mean, yeah. this thing will pull two Rolling Thunders. Wait, I don't have two Rolling Thunders. Well, a Rolling Thunder and a Thunderclap. How about that? Would you pay money to see that kind of train? I, I would. Let's uh, put that on pay-per-view. Might put the uh, the tow hook under under some strain there. I'll have to hitch it up to something else. But I'm sure this thing is powerful. It, yeah, mm. it's wow, wow. And uh, uh, Robert, uh, so, now, you, you're this fan of Scoop, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so how many oh. Scoop action figures did you pick up? All right. Well, well, during the entire trip, I managed to buy two. All right. We'll see. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was hoping you'd at least get one. So. No, yeah, no, I've got one at Kokomo, which, um, because my current scoop, actually, his thumb is starting to break all right. So I'm like, I have to get a replacement. Yeah, and he has the mic. He has the mic, fine. Oh, you got the mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephen yeah. made me a cool, like, kind of, like, you know, custom one, but I mean, it's cool to have the real one. And I got a, a modern era one. No! No! I did not know that. Nice. It was literally the only one on the entire floor. Some fries! <laughs> another, guy, <laughs> another guy said, he was like, oh, you know, there might be another one there somewhere. Um, but it, it oh, that is killer, it. dude! Holding so, out on um, us, nice. I, I, I bought it. I was like, okay. Oh, that is so, Rob, should I open or not to open? I will open it, but I'll, I'll probably make a video. Of it, so. yeah, yeah, I think that's that'll be cool. Yeah, so this is pretty exciting. That is Habit's great. amazing, but it's not scoop. So. Now we've got like two flavors of scoop. Oh, incidentally, yeah. 
uh, our custom project uh, that we represented came in second. So we got some show bucks, nice. which we uh, put towards a Havoc for yeah. Rob, the Ninja Force, complete 1992 Ninja, Ninja Force team for Paul. Yeah, and yeah. I got a hot seat for my Raider. Very nice. Yeah, that's uh, not a euphemism for anything, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does look cool. Yeah. What did he get for that was amazing? Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't what the but what is it last? Uh, okay, so um, I mentioned earlier that I finished Tiger Force, uh, and what was cool, like the nail in the coffin for that was Bazooka. Tiger Force Bazooka, but no, that's not the best thing I bought for coffin. I got a Tiger Cat, a uh, Tiger rat. Fly, Tiger Rats. Rat. Tiger <laughs> Animals. That's not so much, you don't know the names. The, the Tiger Rat, the, the um, Rattler Tiger Force. Ah, yeah, so nice. that's, uh, that's the Tiger Force Rattler, but mm -hmm. I also got, I got the modern era one. Which is great because I like modern era figures, and so I've got a Rattler for, for both flavors of GI Joe, or both flavors of GI Joe that matter to me. Um, and that was really exciting. I got it for a really good price because the guy was like, he, he doesn't want to take it back home. So uh, yeah, that was one of my favorites. And then uh, that was one of the coolest things. I mean, and I'm talking about stuff that I purchased. So that was definitely one of them. Um, the other thing, uh, well, uh, this was purchased at Kokomo, so that's not fair. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's a lot. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I think uh, I think uh, I need to actually go through it before I know which is my absolute favorite. But I do know that I couldn't leave the convention without this guy, which is quick kick. That's Fudgy quick. Bar? Yeah. <laughs> Frozen yeah. Fudgy. But let's not undersell the fact that it's been a, a thrill to meet you, Brian, because you know we we are constantly inspired by the fact that you are able to put out comprehensive G.I. Joe content on a weekly basis, sometimes more than one video a week. It's like, yeah, this guy's an inspiration to us all. Uh, yeah. And to meet him finally for the first time, I mean, like, we, we've, we've corresponded enough, we've collaborated once or twice. Uh, we yeah, had that yeah. debate, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, anytime I feel like, uh, you know, doing this on the side is too much work, when I see what this guy puts out, I'm like, I'm yeah. a slacker. I, mean, I, I, was, I was walking from the one convention hall to the other, and I'm like sort of walking. And I see HTC HC, uh, on the way there, and I'm about to go, hey, and I see him like recording videos, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. every time, but most times I see him, he's like working, he's like talking to the camera, or talking to the phone. I mean, not like hi, honey, whatever. I mean, he's doing uh, content. And yes, I, I, I haven't yeah. talked to my wife at all this weekend. Uh -huh. I'm so, that's a joke. ladies that's and a gentlemen, joke. No, okay. you <laughs> folks okay. out there, Hi, you, Susan. we, we're all very lucky to have this guy putting out videos, putting out content, well, keeping GI Joe very much alive. Did you have a nice thought? Uh, I, I saw at least one moment uh, we were sitting in the bar, but down that way, whatever, and uh, it's actually that way. As yes, it turns that out. way. Yeah. Um, it was quite a night. Uh, yeah, lots of drinking. He <laughs> got which way. Yeah. And we're all talking, and this, this like girl walks up to to. HCC and she's like, my mom's a really big fan of your show. <laughs> yeah, can yeah. I get a picture with you? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. that was that Hi, was Susan. great. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Susan. <laughs> um, yeah, well, oh, thank you. I, I have no life, uh, and uh, so and now I'm reaping the rewards of that. So yeah, that's how all that works. But uh, it was a if this if this is our substitute for a life. I'll take it. Thanks. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's, it's more permanent than a life. It's plastic. It lasts long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'll last long. Yeah. Um, well, was there anything about uh, the, the show or the weekend that was uh, drastically different from what you would expect? Ooh. I stumped the band. Yeah. Well, I, I think I didn't know what to expect, so like anything that happened was pretty awesome. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, 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 the airdrop right. was the, uh, the, the midnight parachute drop, sorry, I'm still carrying on about that and buying G.I. Joe's out of somebody's boots. I was, I did not expect that. Yeah. I did not think that that kind of, that those kind of shenanigans yeah. took place here in the... And I, that's, that's a trunk uh, for Americans. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. sorry. So not yeah. out of a boot. Uh, yeah. Trunk. Right. Right. Could have come selling out of his boot. Uh, work either way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This kind of, incidentally, choice. we did find uh, a Defiant there. Yeah. The Defiant yeah. in his back seat. It's like, I got a Defiant in my back seat. Don't rub it in. And it wasn't that shady, though. <laughs> it wasn't actually shady at all. It's just convenient. It was like, <laughs> yeah. So I did not expect that. I think the reason why. Uh, 
yeah, BlizzCon wasn't a vast departure from my expectations because I didn't have expectations. I yeah, was like, same. like, like apparently Larry Harmon's going to be there and a mm -hmm. whole bunch of Joe fans. Like that's that's already kind of closed the door on on on, on making any more like ex expectations of an event because already it's kind of it's at a level where it's a, a worthy ticket. You know, you want to be there. Um, the vast amount of stuff that I suppose comes as a surprise. I'm like, I expected there to be a lot, but not that much. Like, it's insane. I, I went over things for two days straight. I still don't think I've really scratched the surface. Uh, so, and I, I, I think you guys maybe had the same experience that I had when I first saw Larry Hama. I, I couldn't say anything. <laughs> How long did it take you to actually, actually... I introduced uh, myself twice, forgot where, that I'd said where I was from. He was like, oh, so what part of South Africa are you from? I was like... Uh, well, how, how did you know us from South Africa, Mr. Homerson? <laughs> well, you, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually a pretty good Larry Homer. Well, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, well, uh, so this is this is the last one. Uh, actually, I guess one more thing. Uh, you guys um, you guys did a crowdfunding to get here. Yes, we did. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to all the folks who uh, uh, contributed to that? Because a lot of people wanted to get you here, mm. uh, and this is this is kind of a, um, a a victory for not just for you guys, but everybody who uh, really, really wanted you guys to make it. Here. Yeah, no, I think there's there's no amount of thanks actually. Yeah, I would just say, mission accomplished. Yeah, you and us, we're all Team GI Joburg, and. I know this is your line, actually, Brian, that, that we're all part of the same team, but like, yeah, everyone uh, part of this community are on G.I. Joburg's side. Uh, thank you for rallying behind us, and as I say, mission accomplished. We did it. You did it, everyone. We, this is team effort. all your sweets. <laughs> <laughs> they did, they did. Um, so did. Did you guys make it to the last panel? Yes. Mm. Okay, I, I mean, who, who's gonna miss the last panel at the last Jocon, right? Mm. That, that is literally wrapping up. Uh, any emotions as they went through all the years? Sad I missed all of those years. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 me too. I mean, I, I, uh, I've gone to a few of them, but I uh, wasn't around for for all of those. But um, Yeah, there's some good years. I mean, like when Sergeant Slaughter came and yeah. Roddy, Roddy Parker as well. I mean, those would be an amazing years. Um, so... We're wrapping up. Uh, this uh, the show's over. Uh, we're here in the hallway at the hotel room. Um, uh, how do you come down after this? Uh, what, what's next? Sleep. <laughs> no, a little joking. bit of a road trip, actually. Food. Uh, we're going to see a bit more of the states on our way out. Uh, Managed to, to stretch our budgets to uh, afford us four nights in New York. Very nice. Yeah. Or just, well, Hoboken. We'll we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll take the bus in yeah. every day, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it, it's it's it would be criminal to come to this country uh, and not see a little bit more of it, see the maximum amount of it. Yeah, no, I think we have a very good idea of what the northeastern section of the United States is. <laughs> uh, well, that, sure, actually, then uh, what uh, if you care to share uh, your impressions of the United States? Of, um, uh, how is it? Uh, what you expected or different from what you had expected? I mean, the amazing thing is that we've basically consumed American media our entire lives. So, you know, New York, there's this, you know, it's so, but it's so novel to actually be inside the movie. Yeah, we're in the set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> that's okay. But everyone is so friendly as well. It's incredible. Like, they live yeah, that's the friendliness that people have. Kind of so, so much so, I was just saying to Stephen now, so much so that if you run into somebody that's unfriendly or kind of has an attitude, they really stand up. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, like, they do. They really stand it up. It kind of really irritates you as well, actually. Yeah. You're like, yeah. everyone else is nice, why aren't you being nice? Yeah, yeah, well, for, Ameri <laughs> for Americans, it's kind of like that too. It's like, what's what's wrong with that guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. So hopefully, you know, so that's probably what keeps everyone nice, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, they crack down on that not niceness. Toe Everybody, the line, Dad. Everybody's got guns, so they're Toe just all the afraid. Line. They're, they're terrified, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so um, I, I guess we're probably winding down. I want to give you guys uh, a chance to, to share any additional thoughts, any last thoughts with everyone uh, before we wrap it up. 
You stumped the band again. I, yeah, I asked for thoughts. I don't know what. I, we don't have to. Yeah, yeah I think right now okay. we are we are fried. Yeah. Uh, it's going to take us a little while to 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 get our thoughts in order and just reflect on this event. But uh, just going to circle back to the fact that we met some incredible people this weekend. So many memories. Yeah, yeah. That's I think that's the biggest take home. You know, the plastic is one thing, and it's what got us all started. But like the people who are diehards to this day, who are who get it. Our clan, in other words, you know, the people at this table, this gentleman over here, that guy, maybe not so much. <laughs> uh, but to, to, to have us all in the same place at the same time, we are G.I. Joe. We are the, the, the flame of this mm. hobby, uh, and it's a good flame, and it needs to survive. Mm. Yes. I think it will. I think it will. Uh, yeah, and I don't think Joe Khan is the end of G.I. Joe. I think there's a bit of that sentiment locked in the back of people's heads. Um, I know that for a lot of people who rely on G.I. Joe as a source of income, uh, like the guys that are selling parts and whatever, I think they're very much uh, working on trying to take it the next step further, to try and create smaller cons, whatever, for Joe Khan, for G.I. Joe. Um, but I think it's important to remember that the brand is not dead. And um, even though there's new stuff, there's a lot of cool Joe stuff out there. There's even a train set, as I found out today, <laughs> and cool sunglasses. Well, now you know. No, and knowing is... Oh, cool. Cool. Now you got to wrap it up with a PSA. That's right. <laughs> now, actually, um, uh, Brian Savage uh, closed with uh, that line, and uh, what did he say the other half was? Doing. Doing. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're, we're some of the doers, mm. and so we're just going to keep doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that was uh, good. And, and it, my, that was my, good. My privilege to meet you guys, and also all these folks that are behind the camera that uh, uh, haven't decided to, you know, show us you know, what you look like, but still, my privilege. There we go. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Is my hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Paul's sidekick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll wrap it up from Chattanooga. Uh, great to meet you guys, and um, you know, we'll, we'll just keep on uh, uh, spreading the the love of these toys and. Uh, uh, Watch this space. Yeah. There will be uh, collaborations happening very shortly. Yes, we, we are already hard at work. So uh, that's it from Chattanooga. Thanks, guys. So oh, thank you. Do the voice. Do the voice. Oh, do the voice. What? Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> thank you for having us at Jogon. <laughs> now I will use my weapon like body to destroy the tank. Oh! Oh, he managed it. He managed it. A lifelong dream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch those tabs, oh. man. They're unbroken. The tank is fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Good videos. Ah, uh, good times. Cool.